Today is another Monday, which means I have another workout of the week for you. It includes the almighty kettlebell, which burns fat, builds muscle, builds strength. It's such a beast, the best generalist tool on the planet. You get most bang for your buck if you pick up a kettlebell for a spin. Now, if you don't want to put it together by yourself and do this workout in the follow along format, plus hundreds of others, then check out Kettlebell Plus. You find it in the first link in the description and you can get started for only one dollar. Grüezi miteinander, Gregory von Lebenstag hier. Today's workout consists out of two parts. In the first part, we have the interval method. And we do each exercise in the 40-20 principle. This means 40 seconds of work and 20 seconds of rest. Once we have done all seven exercises, we have one round, then we rest a minute, and we do two rounds total. In part number two, we follow the every minute on the minute protocol, also called EMOM. This particular EMOM means we have three exercises that we do for a given amount of reps at the start of each minute, and then we rest until the next minute begins. This is one round, and we do 15 rounds, which equals 15 minutes. Let's check out the exercises from the interval method. Exercise number one is the power half snatch. Just what the name implies, you power snatch the kettlebell from the floor up into the top fixation, rack it down into your hip. Exercise number two is the same exercise with the other side. Exercise number three is the press. You can either strict press it, push press it, or jerk it overhead, it doesn't matter. Then we have exercise number four, the press again, where you're switching sides. Then we have the walking lunges, a beast of an exercise for your legs. I guarantee you, you will feel this exercise the next day. Exercise number six, again, we do walking lunges with the other side. And then we finalize this round with the power clean and squat. Clean the kettlebell up, hold it in the horn grip, squat down into the bottom, stand back up and repeat. Let's check out the exercises from part two. Exercise number one, five body weight squats. Exercise number two, five hang deadlifts where the kettlebell doesn't touch the floor. And exercise number three is a thruster. You clean the kettlebell up into the rack position, hold it with both hands, squat down, and press the kettlebell from the squat into the overhead position and bring it back down. It's a beast of an exercise. This concludes this powerful workout. Let me know what weights you choose and how it felt down in the comments. Here's the next thing that you have to do. Clean the press that like and subscribe button. Share with a friend who's also interested in kettlebells. And if you made it this far, check out Kettlebell Plus. Hundreds of follow along workouts, skill lessons, tutorials, everything that you've been dreaming of, of a solid kettlebell membership. And the best thing about it, you can get started for only $1. So check the link in the description or click right here.